Hi guys, so today we have this Delta faucet. This is a shower and uh, this is my brother's bathroom and one of the issues he was having was this thing was leaking, I had to fix it. Um, tried to remove this handle because there are rubber grommets, you know, inside the Delta faucet. Uh, you know, let me show you guys from the back so you can see this is what it looks like. I didn't want to redo the entire plumbing. I mean, he is just getting new tiles, so that's the only reason this part is exposed. But for most of you, you probably won't have this part exposed. Um, so all you wanted to do was uh, replace some of the washers and uh, fix it. And for that, you have to remove the front handlebar. And I tried removing it, and there is no way I can remove it. And look at inside, you know, I. I tried removing that hexa screw and it just doesn't want to come out. Uh, it's corroded, holding it pretty well. Trust me, I tried drilling, I tried everything possible, nothing worked. So only way I got this removed, I'll show you guys what I did. So if you notice, the chrome or the copper part is still in there. It did not budge or come out at all. The only way to get this out is to cut it. And for that, you just use one of the saw. I had to sneak uh, my saw in between the blade and this guy. So it's pretty tight. Let me put this back and show you guys again. It's pretty tight. You know, I had to like really, really open it up a little bit and kind of push this metal back to um, get my blade in there. And I, kept, I just kept going back and forth, back and forth, and eventually cut this. Uh, copper thing anyways now you can go ahead and remove this piece right here and this was a mess and now this is the actual ring that I need to remove in order for me to get the cartridge out but um, sometimes this ring is also a pain in the neck and the only way to remove it is to cut it uh, but anyways I'm gonna Spray some lubricant in there, leave it uh, overnight. You can also heat it up, you know. In my case, this cartridge is bad anyway, so I don't mind heating it up or whatever. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. But my main reason for the video was to kind of show you guys how you can get the handle out is there's no other way than to just cut it open. So of course, I'm gonna have to get a new valve and everything, and uh, then that'll be fixed, but this is the only way you can remove it without having to replace that entire back part because that's going to be a lot of work. So, and uh, even on this one, I didn't want to do all that work. So anyways, I have this thing saved and now it's just a matter of replacing the cartridge and it'll be good back in service.